Okay, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today's uh, video, we'll be doing the new update for the ROG3. It's the latest update. So this is the change log of the update. It added a bypass charging feature in the in-game Genie panel. Allows you to power the system without charging the battery. So as you all know, uh, once you're playing games and you're charging your phone at the same time, uh, the games end up uh, using the processor so it heats up the phone while you're charging it even heats up the phone further so having a too hot phone would end end up you know damaging your motherboard or some hardware parts on your phone so this feature will not charge the battery but it will bypass it and power the phone straight without you running out of battery so I hope that was clear or if not you could message me and I'd help you out on explaining it. It also enabled uh, Volti Wi-Fi on Norway and of course updated security patch uh, and some other fixed network instability issue with Hong Kong network, fixed the manual screen refresh rate that can't be maintained in low brightness, improved display quality when playing a video. Fix the issue where the display brightness could become brighter after unlocking the device. Fix the issue where the in, where in certain certain instances the original charger and cable could not charge the device. So there are some phones out there when you're using the original Asus charger and power brick. There, uh, sometimes it charge, but it's not going to fast charge or hypercharge. So this update will. Fit. So anyway, the update is version two point. Uh, 2008.70 so as you can see on our website for ROG3 it's not yet available here the latest is still 2007.58 so for ROG2 sad to say we're still stuck at 2007.27 no new updates for ROG2 as of now so we're still they're still prioritizing, prioritizing uh, ROG3. So we just download as usual. The link in my description. It's a small file. It's a 219 MB file. So just copy it to your internal storage. So if you download it, it will be down your. If you download it and it will be here in your download folder, just move it to your internal storage. And after that, just restart your phone and we'll see what happens okay I'll be back in a while okay so I just restarted my device and as you can see the system update file is detected over here so just click on that and select the update package then click OK so it's updating the phone right now we're at 7 8 11 12 this is uh, a lot faster than the previous update because it's just a small, uh, they call it a FOTA update. So it's a firmware over the air update. It's not the full update which I usually uh, download or post in my description. But it's the same thing. But you'll, the only downside is you'll only be able to update this file if you're in the latest version of ROG. So if your version is, let's say, this version, my, my version here, 2007.58, that's the latest version. So you won't have any problems when downloading the photo file. For the full version, which I usually put in the description, even if you're in a lower version, you can update directly through that. So that's the difference between the two. So let's wait for it. We're at 75%. So, if you have any questions regarding your new update, just let me know. I'll try my best to answer as much as I can. So, you were at 99. So, there, must, there will be a notification that the update was successful. And then, we just have to restart the device again after that. And we'll test the game performance to see if the battery is... 
uh, there must there will be an option there to bypass the battery charging to prevent heat from your phone so let's wait for it there as you can see system update successful please restart your device so I'll be clicking the restart now so I'll be back again as soon as it's restarted and wait for me okay okay so we just restarted our phone so let's wait for that there as you can see system update successful the notification so just click OK on that so as you can double check on our settings system about so down here we're already at 2008.70 so we're at the latest version so when you play a game there must be an option here to so here if you check on let's say let's launch a game let's say mobile legends So there must be an option here on how to uh, bypass your your battery. Okay, so the game's loading. So here, uh, let's see down here. As you can see down here, it says bypass battery charging. So once you click on that, once you click on the icon on that, on this icon, it should uh, get the power straight from the wall outlet and not your battery. So that would save you uh, additional heat on your phone and also save your battery life in the future because you're not putting too much stress on your battery. So. I guess it will only activate once you connect it to a wall charger so right now my phone's not connected to a wall charger so but at least it's there I also hope they put this feature in the on the rock too so technically that's it so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video for the new update uh, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and I'll do my best to keep you guys updated on future updates, okay? So until next time, thank you so much, and goodbye.